Hi, welcome to my Spring Boot tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to discuss auto configuration done by Spring Boot. Spring Boot automatically configures a Spring application based on dependencies present or not present in the class path. So it sees, uh, you know, jars, beans, etc. in the class path, and based on that, it takes uh, some decisions on its own and does auto configuration. Uh, what that does is it makes development easier and faster as there is no need to define certain beans that are included in the auto configuration classes. A typical uh, database driven Spring app MVC application requires a lot of configuration such as dispatcher servlet, view resolver, Jackson, data source, transaction manager, etc. Now Spring Boot simplifies this a lot by, by, by doing all the auto configuration that it does so spring boot auto configures the dispatcher servlet if spring mvc jar is on the class path it's going to auto configure jackson if jackson jar is on the class path it auto configures a data source and so on and so forth auto configuration is enabled by adding annotation spring boot application or enable auto configuration in startup class some examples of auto configuration done by Spring Boot are dispatcher servlet auto configuration, data source auto configuration, embedded servlet auto configuration, Jackson auto configuration, uh, basic error controller auto configuration. Auto configuration done by Spring Boot can be seen in the auto configuration report. Auto configuration report uh, is generated by enabling debug output. Uh, one way of doing that is adding below in the application dot properties setting the the logging level to debug will will generate the auto configuration report we're going to take a quick look at that next we'll go to eclipse next and and we'll try to generate the the auto configuration report so here uh, you know, if i just start, launch the application So by default, it, it does not, uh, you know, generate the, the auto configuration report, as you can see here. But if I go and um, in the application dot properties, if I add uh, this property logging level, arc spring framework equals debug, then you'll see that it's going to generate the auto configuration report. So it's automatically restarting because I have dev tools. And we'll look into DevTools later on, and it makes it very easy because it automatically restarts the application every time any time a change is made. But let's look at the the console, and we're going to search for auto configuration report. And as you can see, it it generated the the auto configuration report. So as you can see in this report, Spring uh, Boot is doing a lot of auto configuration. Uh, from data source, there, there are many others. Some interesting ones are it's doing auto configuration for dispatcher servlet. Uh, there is something for H2 console. It's doing it for the Jackson. It has the Jackson auto auto configuration, and many others. As as we saw in the in the console uh, spring boot is adding a lot of auto configuration if you want to exclude any class from auto configuration you can do that by adding uh, exclude to the spring boot uh, application annotation you can either do it there uh, it takes a array of auto configuration classes you could specify you know something like jackson auto configuration class you can, if you don't need jmx you can add that so you can specify a comma delimited uh, set of auto configuration classes that you would like to exclude from auto configuration. You can also do that by by adding uh, this in the application dot properties. So you could specify spring config auto configure exclude and specify the class name of the auto configuration class. As we can see in the auto configuration report, Spring Boot has added auto configuration for Jackson, 
Jackson auto configuration is matched. Now, if you if you're not going to use Jackson in your application, you can uh, exclude Jackson auto configuration. The way we can do it is by I'm going to uncomment this line. So in the Spring Boot uh, annotation application, uh, I have added exclude uh, Jackson auto configuration. So I'm just going to save this uh, startup class and that would uh, you know restart the Spring Boot application and it, it does that very quickly. I'm going to talk about you know how it does that so quickly later. But for now, uh, if I search for Jackson auto configuration in the report, so so now you see that this this has been excluded from auto configuration. And if I again comment that line, save it. So now it's going to add back the the auto configuration. We'll see that in the auto configuration reports. It Jackson auto configuration has been added back. As I was saying, the another way to do it will be by adding an exclude in the application dot properties. So if I uncomment this line to add uh, spring auto configure dot exclude in the application dot properties. So next, it's going to exclude the Jackson auto configuration. Let me go ahead and save this. So again, just saving the application dot properties restarts Spring Boot, and if we again search for Jackson auto configuration, you can see that it has been excluded from auto configuration. So the question comes to mind: Why exclude classes from auto configuration? Uh, the reason for that is, as you saw, uh, Spring Boot is auto configuring a lot of classes. So for faster, you know, startup and better performance, you may need to exclude some classes from auto configuration. However, for most application, unless there is a performance issue, it's better to leave Spring Boot auto configuration as is. Uh, that way, you know, it doesn't affect the performance that much and everything, uh, you know, it's going to be configured and it's going to run without, without any issues. Next, uh, let's look at the different sections in the auto configuration report. It has four sections. Uh, they are positive matches, which shows all the uh, you know, classes that were matched, and based on that, auto configuration was added. Negative matches is something that did not match, so configuration was not added. Exclusion, as we saw, are the classes that we excluded from auto configuration, and unconditional classes are configuration that that spring boot has to add so something like you know property placeholder auto configuration that that needs to be there uh, next we are going to dig a little deeper into how spring boot is adding some auto configuration based on jars in the class path so dispatcher auto servlet dispatcher servlet auto configuration is added because uh, spring boot found dispatcher servlet in the class path this class was in the class path because we added the starter web dependency, uh, which uh, because of which the MVC jars were added, and this class was present in the class path. So uh, Spring Boot added this auto configuration, and because this auto configuration was added automatically, we did not, you know, have to do anything for for configuring the dispatcher servlet. Uh, we can remove the, the dispatcher servlet auto configuration by adding an exclude, but uh, that will uh, prevent the application you know, from working because dispatcher servlet will not be configured. As you can see in the console, the dispatcher servlet auto configuration was added by Spring Boot because it found this dispatcher servlet class in the class path, and because this was added, so if we look at this hello world controller it works because the dispatcher servlet is is configured to handle the request so now if we go and and exclude uh, dispatcher servlet or by adding it to the ex, uh, to the exclude 
So if I simply uncomment this line to add uh, dispatcher servlet auto configuration to exclude and save this. So again, it's restarting the application. And if I search for dispatcher servlet, it's um, So I'm going to find it now. And so if I now go back to the browser and if I try to go to this page, it's you see it's not going to work because the dispatcher servlet auto configuration has been removed and dispatcher servlet is not configured. So I can add it back by commenting the, the exclude line. Now if I restart, the rest, the Hello World REST controller is going to work again. Next we are going to look at another con con auto configuration, the H2 console auto configuration. This was added uh, because uh, we are using H2 database you know we added the h2 database dependency in, in the pom file and because of that uh, spring boot found uh, web servlet h2 web servlet in the class path and and because it found that it added the h2 console auto configuration and because this auto configuration has been added we get to use uh, the h2 console from the browser so we can you know browse the h2 database so from this console i can click on connect to connect to the h2 database and i can look at you know the tables that i have in this database so so that's a lot of feature that just comes out of the box next we're going to look at how spring boot is doing all the auto configuration under the hood it uses conditional configuration Spring Boot introduced several conditional annotations based on condition interface. Uh, some of these annotations are condition on class, condition on missing class, condition conditional on bean, conditional on missing bean, conditional on property. It uses this annotation to, to do all the uh, auto configuration. Conditional on class, for example, uh, does it if it finds a class in the class path on missing class is something opposite of that Conditional on missing bean is if a bean is not only already configured spring boot is going to auto configure that and Then uh, it can do also auto configuration based on uh, on a property present Next we're going to look at how to create a custom auto configuration. So I have this uh, video to GIF auto configuration uh, any custom auto configuration class should have be annotated with configuration at condition on class is used uh, to check whether these classes are present in the class path at condition on property uh, is used to create a output directory if a property with this prefix and this name is present in application dot properties at conditional on missing bean is used to automatically configure a bean if it's not already present and finally uh, for spring boot to pick up uh, this custom auto configuration we need to create a meta in spring dot factories file and add below so that spring boot will pick this custom you know auto configuration class uh, please visit my site prudentstream.com to get all the notes and thank you for watching this lesson.